Right. So they officially have the lights on from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. every night. And you can still come check it out all the way through New Year's Eve. And But we've gotten a couple of houses to turn their lights on right now. Specifically, Nathan's house, the owner of this house right here. It is beautiful. How long, did it, how long does it take for you guys to set all things up? Um, well, we have a lighting company that does this stuff on the house. And then it takes a few hours to get the garland and uh, the net lights and the reindeer and the sleigh. And honestly, it takes the most time it takes to get everything out of the garage attic. <laughs> That takes forever, it seems like. I love all the different things, and you've got the nice white theme here, yeah. and there's even, I don't know if you can see it up there, there's there's a bird up in the there's tree? A, there's a dove, yes, the, uh, the peace dove. It's got an olive branch. That actually stays up there year-round, so please no one steal it, because uh, it was very, I almost killed myself getting up there, but it is, yes, a nice little touch. You got it up there, and now it will stay there it's forever there. and ever. It's it beautiful. So we're going to walk, because you actually got one of your neighbors to turn on their yeah, lights yeah, as yeah. well. Josh and Hillary turned theirs on. Their uh, house is very fun, lots of animatronic stuff moving around and the kids love this house because of that. Do you love living on the street? You've been here for five years five and you years. said you don't, it's not that you have to decorate no. when you live here, but it just gets you in the spirit and you want to. Exactly. You don't want to be the person that, that hates fun, uh, the party pooper, but we, we do love it. The kids love it. We spend a lot of time uh, during the holidays watching everybody look at our house and take pictures in front of our stuff and it feels like you're in Disneyland a little bit. I know, and, I, and it kind of feels like you're in Disneyland. Any other time I've been here for a live shot is at 7 o'clock uh, yes. for our later show. And there's so many people around here. Like, what's the best part about just having all the people come check it out? I think, it, honestly, it, and this is going to sound cheesy, but it's the kids really get a kick out of this. And it's just watching them. And we always kind of do, like, I call it secret shopper, where we'll walk around and just hear people's <laughs> comments. And people are like, that is still there from when I was a kid. And they just really seem to like it and I think when you live here you maybe kind of take that for granted but it's just fun hearing people and sipping hot cocoa and cider and yeah it's just kind of wouldn't be Christmas without it. Because you said obviously like for you guys you keep adding new things every year but a lot of people when you move to a house on Peacock Lane you inherit the previous owner's Christmas decorations? Yes, yeah, it depends on kind of what condition it was in, but like there's a, a Grinch over there that I think was inherited, there's a Santa head, there's some <laughs> other stuff down there, and it's just part of the tradition that you just leave your Christmas stuff because, I mean, it's a lot of stuff, and the stuff that we inherited wasn't in the greatest shape, so we kind of started from scratch, but that's kind of the tradition. Do you have any like big dreams of something you would want to add to your Christmas display that you haven't gotten to yet? I, absolutely. Don't tell my wife. But my, what I would love to do is create a big arch across the lane and kind of have like, you know, at the Speedway, how they have like all those lights and kind of have a light tunnel. Uh, a neighbor and I looked into it and it would be a little bit cost prohibitive, but maybe we'll start small and work up to that. Right, because this is just free for people to totally come free. check yeah. out. They can just drive through. There's a couple of nights that you don't that they don't let any cars through here, which is nice. Right, the first three nights are always pedestrian only, and we get permitting with the city and do a whole bunch of stuff, and so we shut it down. And that's that's pretty cool. That's quite, dare I say, magical. Um, but otherwise, I mean, you can always walk through on the sidewalk because um, it takes, I mean, sometimes 20 minutes to go these four blocks here because the traffic is just very slow. But yeah. Get your hot cocoa from little Buddy the Elf. Hot cocoa stand right at the end, right next to Nathan's house. And then again, 6 p.m. until 11 p.m. all the way through New Year's Eve. Yeah, I'm yeah. in the spirit just standing here, guys. Back to you. Yeah. <laughs>